are ready for your massage, perfect, you can follow me. Who wouldn't love to spend a weekend at a spa? Even if you can't go, you can eat like you did. I'm going to show you how with these easy, healthy, and fresh tasting dishes. Like a perfectly cooked piece of salmon on a bed of whole wheat spaghetti tossed with fresh basil leaves, capers, and lemon. Or thick, lean pork chops stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes, goat cheese, and herbs. A lemon mustard sauce is a perfect topping. And an exciting salad made with grilled whole wheat bread, artichoke hearts, fresh tomatoes, and olives. Make your home a spa for a weekend with these relaxing and satisfying dishes. For a healthy spa meal, you can't go wrong with salmon. It's delicious and pairs well with so many other foods. I quickly cook salmon until it's just done to perfection. Then I toss nutty whole wheat spaghetti with fresh basil, salty capers, and lemon. I layer the pasta in a bowl with spinach and top with the salmon. Whole wheat spaghetti with lemon, basil, and salmon is a complete meal in one dish. A refreshing recharge for your body. I'm gonna start by cooking my pasta. Now first I wanna start by adding a little salt to the boiling water. And I'm gonna make some whole wheat spaghetti. Now, you know, the whole wheat spaghetti, they're gonna have a lot more flavor. It's kind of nutty. And, um, but they take as much time as regular pasta days to cook. So about eight to 10 minutes. It actually fills you up faster so you don't eat as much pasta. And we're only gonna use half a pound of spaghetti because you don't need as much. And we're gonna load it up with lots of veggies, herbs, and fish. All right, so while that cooks, I'm gonna turn on my skillet here. I wanna get it nice and hot. So when I add the salmon, it's gonna get a nice crust on it. So, a little bit of olive oil, heat it up. And now, I'm gonna season my salmon fillets. I got actually little salmon steaks here. They're two pieces, four ounces a piece. It's got nice omega fats in it, which keeps your nails and your hair and everything looking beautiful. It's the kind of oil that your body can't produce, so you really do need to have it. And these days, it's very popular. And it's not a farm salmon, it's a wild salmon. So it's gonna have a lot more flavor and it's gonna have a nice, smooth, buttery texture to it. And because it's such a rich fish, you don't have to do much little salt, little pepper, and it's all good. And now, let's see, our pan is nice and hot. You can kind of feel it and the oil sort of moves around the pan very easily when it's nice and hot. Just wanna add it in there. A Little bit of sizzle. So. While that cooks, two minutes on each side, I am going to make all the flavorings for my pasta. A lot of us in our busy schedule don't have time to go to the spa and spend a whole day there, but you can bring spa food to your house just by making really healthy, yummy dishes that make you feel like you spent all day rejuvenating. So just chop that up. Instead of cooking the garlic, the heat of the pasta will release the flavors of the garlic and infuse each spaghetti strand. We need a little bit of lemon. We're gonna also use the juice, but first I wanna use some of the zest. Just like that. I just love that smell. It smells so clean and fresh. And now, I'm just gonna use a little bit of lemon juice here. Okay. Got that. Let's see, we gotta turn the fish, just gently. Oh, there we go. Nice and golden, perfect. So now, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of capers. Now, the capers add a little bit of tang and a little bit of a bite, too. Now I'm gonna add some basil. When you want to eat light and healthy, and you don't want to add a lot of fats to your food, herbs are a great way to flavor the food. Now I'm just going to leave it here because I want to add it right at the end after I've added the pasta in here. So now I think my fish is done. I'm going to turn this off and check the pasta. See how easy this is? You can make this pretty much any night of the week. Mm, perfect.
al dente. So, let's get all the pasta in here. And a little bit of pasta water will be good in here. It'll help create a sauce. Look at that. And there's lots of fiber in this pasta too, so another reason it's really good for you. So mix that all together. And see, already you can start to smell the garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil, just a little bit on the top. There we go. And a little bit more salt. And a little bit of pepper. And now again, just give it a quick little toss. There we go. Nice. Again, another little toss. Okay, so now I take a handful of arugula. You can do this with arugula, spinach, any lettuce that you like. And we'll do a little bit of pasta right on top. And on top of that, I do a piece of salmon, just like that. Right? Does that not look beautiful? Okay, so now, the salmon will just kind of fall apart. You don't even need a knife. There, it's perfect. It's a little hot. Oh, that fish is so buttery. And the pasta has a little bit of a, a bite to it. Not only is it beautiful, it tastes great, and it's fast. And you feel good about yourself. You don't feel guilty at all.